coming back into civilian life was sort of a shock to me. My mental health declined. I was suffering with anxiety and depression. I didn't know I had PTSD and I ended up homeless. Life after being in the armed forces for some veterans can be a very difficult time. Suffering from physical injuries or unseen scars like depression, anxiety or post-traumatic stress disorder can make integrating back into civilian life a real struggle. In some cases, veterans can end up homeless, on the street and feeling like there's no one they can turn to. But there is. The charity Walking with the Wounded is there to help ex-forces personnel gain the training and support needed to rebuild their lives, find new careers and reconnect with their community. Things have been tough for the guy I'm about to meet, Chris, but luckily he got in touch with Walking with the Wounded who helped him get a temporary place to live here on Veteran Street in Manchester, a place close to my heart as I was part of the team who built it. How is it to live in? Yeah, it's brilliant, yeah. Fantastic. Did you want to be a soldier always, or was it just a, a job? I wanted to be a soldier while I was at school and stuff, so I became a gunner for the tanks and be an apprenticeship on uh, mechanical engineering. So I was always fixing the tanks and stuff like that. What was it about it that, that you liked so much? It was just all the lads around you. Like, you're like a big family, you're a unit. I like going to Canada and Falklands and places like that. Get to walking with penguins in Falklands, which you know you can't do here, can you? <laughs> and so where did you serve? I served in um, Afghanistan and Iraq. You can be in firefights for eight hours a day. Or you're going on patrol and like there's IEDs everywhere. So some of them don't even get detected and that's when you lose people. Did you lose a lot of friends? Um, four. Four friends. How do you process something like that? You just got to get on with it. Um, but as soon as you come out, you can't talk to civilians about stuff like that. Because? You don't want that being in their head, neither. You don't, you don't want them constantly thinking about it, so you just keep quiet um, to your family and your friends. Where were you at when you were at your toughest times? I changed in myself. Like, I, I was getting a bit low, feeling a bit depressed. I was drinking a lot. Then I became, like, distanced from my, my wife. And then, um, that's when we had a breakup. Then I became homeless. At that point, it was my mum said, you need to get some help. And that's when she pointed me in the direction of walking with the wounded. They just made me feel comfortable straight away, instantly. Because they get it? They get it, yeah, because a lot of them are ex-soldiers that are in there. And it was nice to talk to them, um, let, let a few things out, and then they showed me my accommodation, which was here. And having a roof over your head, it, it was just brilliant. They got me food as well, sorted some clothes out, and then they sorted me a job out as well, which I start on Monday, which I think is brilliant. Tackling mental health issues is a priority for the charity. Its Head Start programme provides therapy for veterans. It helps them to overcome the mental barriers they may feel are stopping them from leading happier and more independent lives. Like with Matt, who having left the Royal Navy, battled with his own thoughts. And this charity means so much to Matt that he's raising money for them by walking 100 miles across the Brecon Beacons, camping overnight and braving the cold weather. When I'm walking, I like to think about how far I've come, uh, what an achievement this will be when I complete it. And then I also like to reflect on the, the harder times and that hopefully I'll never slide back into that. I thought the military would be a way that I could give something to my country. My job was MOTing helicopters, but my injury meant that I couldn't do the job I was trained to do. To be honest with you, I was devastated. It took a while for me to realise that I'm not getting better and uh, my mental health snowboard from there. The charity offers support for the whole family. Once he was discharged from the military, his um, depression spiralled out of control. Just couldn't face the day at all with anything that he did. I had to create a normal living environment for our children. Walking with the Wounded offered me psychotherapy. The therapy enabled me to set aside all the, all the problems that I'd have and, and move forward. If my aunt had received the support that we had, the situation he was in, I think it would have progressively got even worse. 
I'm not sure he would be here with us, quite frankly. And it took me from being unable to be a father, being unable to be a husband, to where I am now, where I run my own business. The change has been amazing. This made us all become more of a family. He was able to be present and he can become the father he's always wanted to be. With your money, Walking with the Wounded will help fund employment advisors and key workers to help more veterans like David. I joined the army in uh, February 1989. I joined the parachute regiment. I met a lot of good people, five guys in particular, who became, as I see them, they came my brothers. There was a sense of belonging, uh, a sense of purpose, but then that was actually stripped away from me because I lost all five uh, in one go. I didn't know I had PTSD. I had a family, I had children. I didn't know how to be a dad. Then what I started doing was drinking and I became totally dysfunctional. I virtually exploded into this, I don't know, just this creature. I, I wasn't, I didn't even feel human. So I, I left the family home and I ended up homeless. David finally plucked up the courage to seek help and that's how he found Walking with the Wounded. I met with Alex, who was the Walking with the Wounded representative, and um, she'd been brilliant. She helped me do a CV, helped me do like interview techniques, and I got the job. And uh, yeah, I've been there since. Dave would stay in his flat a lot and not really engage with a lot of people. Now he is very, very confident. Um, he's able to hold down a full job. Living independently, um, his life has just been completely transformed. That's what the charity gave me, was that confidence back, was that belief. It's almost like I find the real me again, but then I find that the real me was even better than he was before. Serving your country is a brave and honourable choice. Veterans have faced dangers we can only imagine. So when they return home, there should be support and care to help them be a valued part of our community. Now you can make a difference. Walking with the Wounded could fund more staff to support veterans across the UK, begin to find new careers, get a roof over their heads, overcome their mental health problems, feel less isolated and integrated back into society. So please do give what you can. To make a donation, please go to the website www.org.uk forward slash donate. If you want to donate by phone, then call 01263 863 900. Or if you'd like to post a donation, please make your cheque payable to Walking with the Wounded and send it to Walking with the Wounded, Stoddy Hall Barnes, Stoddy, Melton Constable, Norfolk, NR24, 2ED. And if you want the charity to claim gift aid on your donation, please include an email or postal address so that they can send you a gift aid form. Thank you.